All right, so the question I'm answering is how many different types of plants are in the greenhouse? Thank you, Mrs. Weber's class for this question. And the answer is there are 29 plant types in the greenhouse today. So I put this today here because, and I'll put on this pointer, today is very important because this is always changing. So this number 29 is always changing depending on the season and depending on uh, a lot of different things. If somebody brings in a plant, then I'll have 30. If I start planting seeds and I plant 10 different varieties in the next week, in the early spring, in March, when I'm planting a lot of seeds, I might have 40 uh, different plant types in the, in the greenhouse. So it's always changing. So this number is not fixed. I just want you to know that the number is not, it does not stay at 29. It's always changing. So today when I counted, there were 29 different plant types. So I'm going to read through this list. And if any of these sound very interesting to you, I want you to do a little bit of research. That's my challenge to you. Do a little bit of research or ask another Ask a Scientist question. And uh, not all of these, the last thing before I read the list, not all of these have the same number. So there's only one lemon tree. There's four avocado trees. There's one fern. There are eight spiderwort plants. So there's different numbers to each of these. So let me read through. Citronella, a string of pearls, geranium, two kinds of aloe, lemon tree, cacti, Kalanchoe, Euphorbia, Echeveria, Begonia, Spiderwort, Cantharia, Ginger, Heartleaf Ice Plant, Impatience, Cuban Oregano, Baby Sage, Rubber Tree, Philodendron, Pregnant Onion, Fern, Pothos, Mint, Coleus, Jade, Spider Plants, Avocado, Haworthia, and Brighamia insignis. And that one I left for the end because we have one of these and it's a critically endangered plant in the wild, but we actually have one at school that grows in the greenhouse. So that's the answer to your question, but I'm just gonna elaborate just quickly on what happens with these plants and why do we have a greenhouse? And we, we you know move these plants. So a greenhouse is kind of a temporary place for a plant to be. So some of them are here to get better, uh, just like you and I get sick, plants also get sick. And so I nurse sick plants to health in the greenhouse. Some of them are just kept here. They're teacher's plants. Um, and then some of them in a normal year without a pandemic, uh, you would be able to visit me and take some home with talent tokens. And then some of them go out into the garden or other gardens in other Hartford public schools come warmer months. And so we have a greenhouse because it is the ideal place for a plant to grow. I can manipulate everything a plant needs, which is um, airflow, the right soil, right amount of sunlight, um, the right temperature, and the right amount of water, and the right amount of nutrients. So I can manipulate all of those different variables to optimize a plant to grow very, very well. So I nurse sick plants, I start seeds. That's a huge, huge function of the greenhouse. I start seeds. And I also extend the season for plants that would die if they were kept outside over the winter months, but I can bring them in and keep them alive so I don't have to buy a new plant in the next season. It's also a place to experiment. So if you ever wanna do an experiment or want an experiment done, please let me know. I'm always experimenting um, in the greenhouse because it's the way I learn how to best care to certain kinds of plants because there are so many different kinds of plants and Miss Deegan only knows how to take care of a little fraction of all the plants that exist. And so whatever plants come up, we come across here at ESM, I put in the greenhouse, I learn as much as I can about the plant and um, that's constantly involving me experimenting with different ways of of caring for them. So I hope that this answered your question a little bit. And if you have more, more questions, which I hope you do, continue to ask them. And I also have a link to this video here that's on my YouTube channel. Um, so you can watch that too. It just goes into a little bit more detail of what the greenhouse, um, how it's set up and, and why it's set up that way. So 
uh, 29 different plants today. And if you ask this question again in a couple months from now, I bet the answer will be different. So uh, yeah, okay. Thanks everybody. Hope you have a great day.